So yes, I'm trying to change uh, the locations more now because somehow I feel like doing that. And also being more in public places, but you know, to get used to people, and I've said that already before, but it's just, of course, also leaving my own comfort zone and staying focused on what I want to say. And it's just also producing a different kind of vibe to do it in a different kind of environment. So, right now I'm kind of lacking for words. But that's also because there's quite a lot of disturbance. And that's why in cities, you know, I sometimes I like to go to more quiet places. More and more. I don't like these big parties. You know, sometimes I'm sure that's something you could do, but just in general I feel myself quieting down more. And whereas in the past I always wanted to have like, you know, party and go dancing and right now I don't want it as much. Right now I just want quiet time and relaxation and positivity and that's why I stay away from people that are negative or that need me to feel good. And that's also why I distance myself from most people and why I don't spend time with people unless I meet them randomly. So I leave it up to to my life to say, you know, now you go to the park and then you meet somebody. If I don't meet them, I don't reach out to them. So, you know, unless they make an eff effort to come into my life, but then I also have to say, you know, do I like you to be there? It's like with that friend, he contacted me because his girlfriend broke up with him, so he felt shit. So he came to me because now suddenly he wanted me to make him feel good. So, I'm not a replacement and if you don't feel good yourself, then don't come to me, right? And don't expect me to stick it out with you every day. Like, you have to make an effort. But that's also the trouble that I have then sometimes, because in a way, sometimes I also depend on other people to make me feel good. Because if I have the feeling I could help them, then it makes me feel better about myself. And that's of course what other people have with me as well. If they have the feeling they could help me, then they feel better about themselves. And that's just this kind of leeching off of each other, which I try to avoid. But that's sometimes really hard, because you just get into the habit of doing these things. And that's why then, you know, if a woman comes to you, and she just wants you to make her feel good, but if you then once feel bad and she gives you shit about it, I mean, what's her deal? Then she's just with you because you make her feel good. But if she, you know it's about her making you feel good once, she doesn't do it. So then you can of course say that, that you don't like it. And then you can stop giving her something and then see how re she reacts and she may, may leave you then. That's just how it is, because if she doesn't get your energy anymore, if you don't have sex with her, she just suddenly is not interested anymore. And then you just know it wasn't you she liked. No, it was just what you were giving her all the time. You know, the attention and the sex and the stuff, and that if that doesn't isn't there, and I know, you know, I cannot always focus on the people in my life, because my focus is on my goal. So I know if I have a woman, that depends on me to constantly give her attention, well, that's not going to work out because I can't do that all the time. I will be focused on other things. And that just means you have to learn to feed yourself. That just means you have to give yourself what you need. Because then, you know, you can also be married or be in a lifelong relationship, partnership, and you can live in a harmonious way without cheating on each other. Because also you're in tune with what you need so you can actually phrase it 
right? You can say, I'm missing something. You can go to your wife or your husband and you can say, honey, I'm missing something, right? There's something I'm missing. Can we talk about this, please? Like, I need something. Maybe we can go on a vacation. It's not just about, you know, then the woman going alone or you going alone. No, it's about doing it together because you're, it's a partnership. It's not just about you anymore or her. It's about doing things together. You know, you want to travel. Your wife doesn't. Then say, I have the need to travel. Are you going to help me with this? No. Why not? And then maybe she has all kinds of reasons. Maybe she's afraid of it or whatever. And then you say, but I want to do it. So you work out a plan how you can both travel. And if she's afraid of traveling, you just say, hey, I have experience doing it. You know, let's just figure it out. And maybe it's the money, then you say, hey, but for me it's important. And money should be used to make experiences and not to like pile it up. So let's figure that out. Oh, I'm worried about this or that. And you say, okay, let's figure it out. But if you have something you need, then it's for the both of you to work it out. And not to just say no. And that's the same with sex, of course. If the man also wants, because it's important in a relationship to have sex. You don't have to have that every day, but if your woman start, stops having sex with you, or the husband doesn't want sex anymore, or the boyfriend or girlfriend, then something is clearly wrong, because sex is a form of communication. So you have to work on that. Why don't we have sex anymore? Because we don't take time for each other. Maybe we are too consumed with our smartphones. Maybe we are watching too many movies, because that drains your energy if you want it or not. But it does it. So it's for you then to figure out what's wrong at the moment and how can we change it so that we have more space for each other. So maybe we're also eating the wrong foods. Maybe we have to eat less heavy stuff so that we feel more energetic to have sex. And maybe she's, you know, not attracted to you because she doesn't like your coffee breath. Or because you smell like cigarettes. Well, are you willing to change that for her? Because just because you like smoking doesn't mean she has to. So if she's not a smoker, then maybe you should stop smoking too. And if he's not on the phone all the time, but you are constantly, then maybe you should do something about that because he has time for you, but you're just always concerned with your phone. So it's to unplug yourself from the things that suck your attention and that suck your energy and to invest it into the relationship that you're having with somebody, a human being that's actually there, right? That tries to love you and keep it together. So you have to work with him or her, it's, you know, doing it together for the rest of your life. You know, that's the mentality you should have. Of course, if you want to cycle and she doesn't like that, then just go cycling yourself or decide to find something else to do together. Acro yoga, for example. It's like gymnastics and yoga where you do like, you know, you support the woman and just look it up. Acro yoga. You know, whoever fights to be my wife and claims the position of my wife probably will get to do that with me because it's also getting in tune with each other for, but for that of course you need to be in shape so start working out have a goal like right I want to be able to do 100 push-ups or 50 or 60 or maybe just 20 for the beginning but you want to stay in shape so I know for example if I were to go on holiday tomorrow and go hiking 20 kilometers every day I could somehow manage because I'm quite fit and most people are not fit at all so they couldn't couldn't even go for 10 kilometers without like so start working on that start to be able to do these things on your own and do them on your own so that when a woman comes you can actually do it together then but you can do it already so you will also attract a woman that can do the same. And if you meet somebody that has completely different ideas about life, you know, you can then of course say, well, it's better her than no one. But you can also say, 
no, I'm just gonna wait, right? I mean, probably something else is gonna come up. Because you can always feel in love with anyone. But if you're not somehow heading in the same direction, so that's why I know, for me it has to be a woman that is quite, like quite spiritual and that believes also in like ghosts and shit and that you know probably lives vegan and doesn't smoke and has like you know the wish to grow together and maybe is also not too anxious about psychedelics at least sometimes so I know these things they should be like this and if they're not then I'd rather say you know maybe another time right because then it just doesn't work out because I I want a partner I want to do things together I want to travel in the way that I want to travel so she has to be adventurous right I know that already I once met somebody and you know I liked her and she was somewhat attractive but when I saw her cycle I realized no way she didn't even know how to cycle. She was just afraid of everything. I mean, that would mean I would have to take care of her and I would have to take care of my child because my life is going to be adventurous. Like that, right? Doing stuff in forests at night. Where most people shit their pants. You know, my wife has to say, I like that. You no, know, I want to do this. Let's do it together. Building fires, doing like shamanic work. That's quite scary to support people in their healing process. It's scary, I need a tough wife. I need a really tough wife. And that's what I'm trying to attract. And that's why women that don't manage to work towards me, because you know, they expect me to run after them. That's just not it. That's just not it, I have to, you know. That's just not it. If you expect me to run after you, then you don't want me enough. And that's just the point. That's just the point. And that's my decision, and I'm rather by myself than to sell myself to a woman for sex.